Hey guys, it's Casey. Um, I just got off of work. I'm going to make a really quick meal. Um, it's just me and my son here today, but I'm gonna do a very quick uh, seasoned pork chop with roasted cauliflower and some macaroni and cheese because he loves it. Super simple, super easy, super cheap. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this isn't gonna be a very complex or long video. I mean, none of my videos really should be, but the first thing I'm gonna do is turn on my burner. Gotta take a look at this thing. Turn on my burner and get my pot of water started for the macaroni and cheese. I've also got my oven preheating to 350 right now. Before I decided to start doing the video, I went ahead and took out one of my larger baking sheets. I sprayed it with a little bit of like Pam cooking spray. Um, and now I put the pork chops on it and I'm about to season them. So I know I was telling y'all about this zesty Italian seasoning packet in my last video for my chicken and broccoli Alfredo. I am using it again for this, I swear to you. I have more seasonings on my sleeve than just this. It just so happens um, I'm using this again tonight just for a quick seasoning for these pork chops. Another good use um, or seasoning packet for when you're doing pork chops like this is actually the ranch seasoning packet. Um, and then McCormick makes a ton of just various pork seasonings. Um, so if you don't like, you know, feeling like coming up with your own little seasoning mix or whatnot, just grab a packet, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna sprinkle the seasoning on both sides of the meat and kind of rub it in. You do not need additional salt with these seasoning packets. They're pretty um, saturated with salt, but I am gonna add some pepper. So I'm gonna do that. Lip, lip. And I've got four um, not super thick, but nicely uh, sized pork chops here. So it's definitely gonna feed me and Sebastian tonight, and then I will have leftovers for myself for lunch tomorrow. All right, so that's done. Throw this packet away, wash my hands real quick, and I'm gonna show you my uh, roasted cauliflower recipe. is super simple but it's delicious my father-in-law actually really loves it um it's funny because he did not think that he liked cauliflower until he had my fresh roasted cauliflower and um he liked it so much that he actually told his mother about it who we call big mama and big mama actually called me to get my roasted cauliflower recipe which was funny to me because if you don't know, in the South, you know, Mama's cooking is kind of sacred. And the fact that Big Mama called me for a recipe, I was tickled pink. Um, again, super simple recipe, but it is delicious. And I was tickled that he liked it so much that he told his mother about it. <laughs> All right. So one head of fresh cauliflower, what I'm gonna do is chop off uh, the base here and then just start making some florets. And one big old hack. And the reason that I'm using such a big sheet, uh, sheet pan, you can see over here, is because for you know just the pork chops is because I'm gonna put everything on the same sheet pan the cauliflower and the pork chops together because that's less mess and less work for me. And I'm sorry I don't have uh, my hair all nice and fixed today, but this is real, right? We're real moms. We really work. We really raise these kids. And some days you just can't be bothered with makeup and a curling iron. So 
is what it is. That's what you get. And I really don't want to be one of those channels that does it real fake where you can tell that they spent, you know, an hour and a half, two hours getting ready to do their video. No, I'd rather just do it semi-live with you all. Be myself and hopefully y'all can relate. Almost done getting my florets out of this cauliflower. All right, that was a nice head. So, now what I want to do is get my seasonings out for my cauliflower. We're gonna start with a little bit of olive oil. Um, just so my dry seasonings have something to stick to. If you wonder what I keep moving around down here, oh, where's my olive oil? Oh well, we'll use some cooking spray because I think my olive oil is elsewhere right now. And really we just need this to help um, the seasoning stick. I'm gonna get my black pepper out. I am going to put the pepper on some of these pork chops. Remember I told y'all before, I wasn't gonna add any more salt, but yes to pepper. And then we're gonna add some pepper to this cauliflower. All right, now I am gonna add some salt to my cauliflower. If you wonder what I've been moving around down here, it's a stepping stool because I am short um, <laughs> and I need help getting to my top shelf of my seasoning rack. So, uh, onion powder, just give it a nice little spritz. Garlic powder, because we're southern and we love garlic. Give it a nice little dash. Not too much, uh, you know, just a good little sprinkle. All right, and then why I needed my stepping stool because I'm gonna get up here and I have to get my fennel from my top shelf of my seasoning cabinet. So just give me one second. Had I thought about it ahead, I could have had it out, but like I said, I just decided to do the video. So there we are. All right, so I've got some ground fennel here and I'm gonna add that as well. It really just kicks it up a notch and gives it like this interesting extra little flavor that you didn't expect. I personally love ground fennel on any roasted vegetable. I think it's delicious. Um, and if you haven't tried it, I would suggest you do. I don't know if you can find ground fennel at like Walmart or like a local grocery store. I'm sure you could, especially some of the bigger ones, like maybe like a Publix or a Kroger. Um, but if not, any little international food store you have around you, they'll have it. All right, so water here is boiling. I'm gonna add my noodles in a minute, but first I'm gonna take our cauliflower and just kind of mix it up like this, make sure it's all coated. Oh, that fennel smells so good already. All right, wash my hands, quick little wash, rinse, whatever. Get my mocking here and this will go in the laundry basket when I'm done cooking. All right, now we're gonna knock this in the oven. So what have we been doing this for like what? Five minutes or so. And we've already got meat and veg in the oven. I'm getting my macaroni started. And dinner is almost on the way. All right, that's in there, so. What I'm going to do now is let my pasta come to a boil. It's just box macaroni. I'm going to follow the directions. You know how to do this. We all, you know, we all know how to do that. Um, as far as the pork chops and the roasted cauliflower go, I'm going to leave that in there until the cauliflower gets nice and roasted and the pork chops get cooked through. Um, you want to make sure you don't do it too, too long so the pork chops don't dry out. I happen to have some nice kind of like thick 
pork chops so they won't dry out quickly i'll probably leave it in there a good let me say like 15 minutes and then come back and check on it if i feel like it needs to go a little longer i'll cook it a little longer if i feel like it's done obviously i'll take it out and then we'll get to eating um i will post a picture maybe in the thumbnail when it's done but yeah thanks for cooking with me quickly on a weeknight don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then y'all come back and watch soon i will be posting a video on a kids craft a fun kids craft for thanksgiving which is also um some family memorabilia so what we're going to be doing is making a um decorative plate out of our kids hands and feet prints it's super cute super easy super inexpensive so don't forget to come back and watch that video y'all have a good night